Right. So the conceptual flow is something that I talk about very explicitly, or I try to, and then I always, um, I rarely have groups that get it right. So I'm trying something different this time. Um, but a conceptual flow is not a mind map. Repeat, there's a quiz. It is not a mind map. It is not a web of ideas. It has structure. It has um, a sequence. It goes down and across. And all of uh, if if they are interlinked, you don't have to interlink everything. But the things that have strong connections, you're you're connecting them. Okay. Um, it's the big ideas and the questions that you're questioning in your unit that you're planning. It's a an overarching unit plan. Okay. What do you want students to know? What are the standards that you're teaching? And what content are you going to, how are you going to present that content? Now, I just really want you to, to focus on questions and connections. I don't, I'm not as focused on standards and instructional materials because that goes in your plan already, okay? It is one comprehensive sequential chart, okay? It's supposed to be done collaboratively. Um, it has hierarchy ideas. So if, if this is your essential question, all of these things underneath are support that understanding and that, that answering of that question, okay? There's five steps. First step, you as an individual on the team are going to come up with the concept that you think students need to learn from this unit, okay? And how you think it will flow and how, what you think needs to be taught. From there, you as a team come together and bring your individual thoughts and premeditated flow, and you create one as a team with your thoughts. So you're not necessarily going straight into conceptual flow, you're just getting all of your ideas. Okay, that, we want that, and oh no, we don't want that, but we wanna keep that, okay. So then you're gonna, you would te technically, you're matching it, so at least you're thinking about what instructional materials are you gonna use for each one of these big ideas and, and flowy, the parts of the flow, and you're aligning, you would technically align those to the standards. And clearly the standards are gonna be listed in your plan, so um, they would all be aligned to some type of standard. And then five, review the progression of concepts and place them in an instructional sequence that provides strong links for student understanding, okay? How are you going to structure your unit in the best way to support student understanding. We are going to use Google Jamboard. Here's the waffle. Jamboard is, if you scroll down, Jamboard isn't just with any old um, Google account. I believe you have to pay for it. And I believe the teacher's college is paying for it. So might as well use it. Okay. Tap in the corner to create a new board. It lives in your Google Drive just like everything else. That is a question I want my students to be able to answer. We have to know the difference between plants versus animals. And then the other thing about what are plants so we have our essential, our first question, what are plants? We kind of need to know what plants are before we can understand the importance of them and what they need, okay? So plants versus animals, and then the different parts of the plants. How are plants and animals the same? How are they different? And how do they affect each other? See how it flows down? You have to know one thing before the other, okay? Then we move over parts of the plant, the life cycle of the plant, you could go into what is photosynthesis and chlorophyll. Those are like maybe, um, how does it work? Deeper order question, deeper depth of knowledge question. Notice these are questions, not all of them, but a lot of them are questions. Uh, we want our students to be able to answer these questions. They're not just words. Light is connected 
to photosynthesis. And water and can, air are connected. Okay, I can say lots of sprigs you could go here. I would say limit to the ones that you believe that you will be teaching about, things that you will um, be ex tying to standards and be instructing on. You know, maybe it would be really cool if you did decide to uh, create a conceptual flow using um, this extension that you would use post-it notes uh, for the different categories. I don't know. It's uh, just something to think about. Um, it's important that we have an organized sequence of what we're going to teach and when we're going to teach it. We're not going to be teaching the food chain before we teach what the plant is. We're not going to be teaching about how pesticides affect our environment before we teach what, how light in, it affects the uh, plant. So it's really important that we are thinking about how we sequence things, how things are interconnected, and um, the essential questions we want kids to be able to answer. And that's what really is missing a lot of times is how would I ask my student that if I wanted to know how are plants important to your life? I want them to be able to answer that. If I just say plants are important, who cares? Like, duh, but why? Okay. So this is my Google drawing. It's a little bit cuter. It's a lot harder actually. Um, I would entertain giving different options um, a go. And then you can share your, um, just like you do everything else in Google. Okay. So just trying out something new. Hopefully this makes a lot of sense and um, you're understanding what I expect for the conceptual flow when it comes to the final project.